Hey everyone and welcome to my in-depth guide on the peyote plants. Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the recently added peyote plants that allow you to turn into animals. However, I will not be covering the locations. There are many other guides out there already for the locations of all of them. I will link a guide to the locations to all of them in the description if you are interested though, so that after you learn everything that you need to know from this video, you can then click on that video that I link in the description and go have some fun with your newly acquired knowledge. So let's start out with some general statistics about the plants before you even become an animal. There are a total of 76 peyote plants throughout the world, that being in the water and on land. The animals that you can turn into range from birds, to different breeds of dogs, to deer, to cougars, to Bigfoot on land. And in the water you have the chance to be a stingray, different types of sharks, an orca whale, and more. The aquatic ones aren't as exciting as the land animals, and you'll see why later in this video. Each peyote plant has a 48 minute or 1 in game day cooldown, so if you eat a peyote plant from a certain spawn location, you're not going to be able to eat that same one for 48 minutes, but you can still go to the other spawn locations and eat those ones. And every time you do use a peyote plant, you will earn 5000 RP, which is a ton considering you can eat all 76 of them back to back. This is probably one of the best ways to rank up at the moment. I'm not sure if these are going to be permanent or not, but if they are, this is most likely going to be the new best way to rank up. I went on my PC character to try this out because I'm only level 53 on PC, and look at how much RP it gives me from just eating one. If you are low level at the moment, you seriously want to take advantage of this if you want to rank up, it's really good. Now let's go over what happens when you turn into an animal. First of all, you will hear an audio cue when you are right next to the plant, indicating what animal you will become. And if you don't like that choice that the game gives you, then you can drive away and come back for another shot and you should hear a different animal. Of course, it's still based on chance, there's no guaranteed way to choose what animal you're going to become. But once you are an animal, your health will either increase or decrease depending on the type of animal you are. For instance, smaller animals like dogs, chickens, and birds have very small health pools, and larger animals like deer for instance have larger health pools. The same thing goes for how much damage they do with their melee attacks. Small dogs will take more melee hits to kill a player than a bigger animal like a cougar. The deer, or a stag I think is what the game calls it, is probably the best animal to become as it has a larger health pool, and its melee can one-shot a player. Plus it's one of the more agile and fast animals. Unfortunately I don't have any gameplay of the deer as it's all based on chance and I never got to become the stag. Another good tip to know is if you don't want to have other players killing you while playing as an animal, you can simply enable passive mode before eating the peyote plant to be a passive animal. Note however, you will not be able to change this once you become an animal, so you're either going to be stuck out of passive or stuck in passive until you end the hallucination. And while we're on the topic about ending the hallucination, you will always spawn at a nearby hospital after you exit an animal. It doesn't matter if you get killed by another player or an NPC, or if you exit it yourself, you're always going to spawn at a hospital. Unlike the RC Bandito, you still appear on the minimap as you would if you weren't an animal, you appear as a dot to everyone else. There are no special icons for the animals though, so you can confuse people in that way. It is possible to get orbed as an animal, and it will count as a kill for the other player. You also cannot access the weapon wheel to use weapons, so really the animals cannot be used effectively to troll tryhards like the RC Bandito can. But actually, yes they can, and this is where the trial and error testing begins. When you spawn in as an animal, you are not able to access the interaction menu. The same thing could be said about the RC Bandito, but if you guys remember in my RC Bandito guide, there was a way to open the interaction menu while driving it. And the same thing works for the animals. If you come to this spot on the beach near these telescopes and this like wooden plank thing, you will be allowed to open the interaction menu while playing as an animal. Now this is a really long run if you don't eat one of the peyote plants near the spot, so it sure is a shame that that's the only way to open the interaction menu as an animal. Oh wait, it isn't. If you instead use the RC Bandito near the peyote plant, then use the glitch to get out of the RC Bandito, walk over to the peyote plant, eat it while in the RC Bandito glitch, then let go of down on the d-pad to exit the RC Bandito glitch, you will spawn in as an animal with direct access to the menu without having to run for half hour to get to the beach. I know that was a lot of steps in a short amount of time. If you do not know how to do the RC Bandito glitch, how to exit it, I highly suggest watching my RC Bandito guide. I go over it step by step at a much slower pace in that video, and I will link that in the description as well. Now, access to the interaction menu allows you to do a couple of interesting things. You can call in RC Banditos, and these will behave just like a normal RC Bandito would. If you blow them up, you will spawn in as your animal again. 
And if you do the glitch to get out of the RC Bandito while you're playing as an animal, you will still be an animal in the glitch. More importantly though, if you go over to Inventory, Ammo, you can buy throwables that you can use as a weapon. That's right, you can throw sticky bombs, grenades, tear gas, all as an animal. The reason it only works with throwable weapons is that when you're an animal, the game essentially takes away all of your weapons and ammo, hence why you cannot buy ammo for things like pistols and machine guns. It does take away your throwables too, the difference is that throwables don't require you to own any weapons to be able to fire the ammo that you purchase, they are the weapons themselves. Since I don't have a pistol on me, the game isn't going to let me buy pistol ammo. But if you are out of sticky bombs for example, you can still buy more from the menu like this. Once you end the hallucination, you will spawn in with however many throwables you bought as the animal though, that's how I know that it takes away your weapon inventory. To clarify, let's say you had 30 sticky bombs in your inventory before you became an animal and did this trick. If you decided to buy one sticky bomb as an animal and then use it as an animal, once you end the hallucination, you're going to have no sticky bombs available too, you're going to have to buy them all again. That's the one negative thing about doing this, but it's honestly worth it because this allows you to do some serious trolling if you are a bird. There are a couple of easter eggs with a couple of the peyote plants. The first one is at Franklin's aunt's house, there's one located in his yard. If you eat this one, you're going to turn into Chop from single player. There's not really anything too special about this one. The second one is if you eat this peyote plant located in Grapeseed between the hours of 3am and 8am when the weather is foggy outside, you will become Bigfoot and he has some special abilities. He has super punch, if you punch cars they go flying backwards and often blow up. He has faster movement, an increased health pool, and he is the only animal that can pick up weapons off the ground and fire them like actual weapons. In the gameplay you're seeing Bigfoot firing a pistol. I actually have yet to become Bigfoot just because it's hard to get everything to match up with the weather and the time. So the gameplay you're seeing is from GTA series videos, huge shout out to him for letting me use his footage, I will have a link to his channel and his video on the locations of the peyote plants in the description. But that is going to be all for this video, I hope you guys learned something new from this, if you did feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content, go have some fun playing around with the animals, drop a sticky bomb or two on a tryhard as a bird, and as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, why did the chicken cross the road? To get ran over by a Yuga van of course.